Hello and welcome for gamers. My name is Borak and this is another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. We're back on the surface of my lovely planet, snowy, chilly, yeah, with oxygen, but without too much of a food. Fortunately, I do have a farm over in here. Right, so in the previous episode, we've managed to fell off the Xeno mainframe and that was fun. I don't know why it is so pinky. Uh, I don't have anything pink over there. Well, okay, those lights are... Yeah, they are pink, that's why they give such a shade. Uh, nevertheless, I've managed to take the dart with me and I was actually thinking that I do have to um, upgrade this constructor. Unfortunately, I don't think I have enough stuff for it. Uh, cobbled alloy, 10 flux coils. Do I have any flux coils whatsoever? Oh, I have seven, so it's not that bad. But yeah, about cobbled, mm, why there is no search menu? Just input stuff. Come on. Or is it? No, there's nothing. Right, because I would like to sort it and see. I have some cobalt ore, cobalt alloy. That's 20. And I think I need 50 to upgrade it. Yeah, 50. Mm, that is a shame. So we're not going to be doing that. And since we're not going to be doing that, there's uh, limited options of the stuff that we can do. Even if I unlock them with my tech tree. And that is really a shame because I would like to make few things over in here uh, can i actually make because i think i am not able to why 10 flux co 10 flux coils for capital vessel i was thinking about making myself a capital vessel but then i need cockpit and for the cockpit i need 10 flux coils and for the uh, to make to make the rest of the stuff like uh, the um, warp drive to jump out of here out of this system, I would have to go with advanced constructor, and for the advanced constructor, I still need more flux coils. And uh, quite unfortunately, those flux coils do require titanium rods, and that's it. Neodymium ingots. Hmm. Titan titanium. So I would have to have titanium. Right. Nevertheless, uh, quite unfortunately, I cannot continue or finish the mission that one, uh, of Word Grave. So I was thinking to myself, well, there are a few chapters that I have not completed, like Ancient Revelations and uh, Uncertain Outcomes. So I think we should continue with the Ancient Revel Relev Revelations. And let's do that. Let's start by doing that mission. Two steps forward, one step back. At least you made contact with your UCH comrades, uh, although the message was a bit short and cryptic. Mm, okay, if you say so. You won't have too much time to worry about that. Events of serious gravity seem to have been put in motion in ancient threat hibern hibernating while well, slipping in the fro frozen stuff. For centuries has started to rise its ugly head again and is asking for your attention. Yeah, I have that Ida thingy. You should answer the call. Let's get going. Let's see what we can do with that mission and let's fulfill it. Right, uh, lost ship answering the call. Okay, mm, I wonder what kind of a mission it's going to be. Dear friend, Talon Chief, oh, we are happy to see you alive, but we have reserved, uh, you received more alarming info about the legacy. Our Polaris allies told us they have lost one of their capital vessels. Ooh, the vessel uh, was exploring distance systems for the last few years. The company lost contract with the contact with the ship about half a year ago. They have just told us they have new lead to track, but because of the Xyrex patrols getting much more frequent in this month since the, uh, your people arrived, we're not able to do that. Blah blah blah. Now they are asking if you could lend them, and why they are asking me through Talon that if I could do the mission, well, but pff, details, please. Great. We knew a, the galaxy can count on you. Yeah, of course, on my shoulders. Polaris headquarters has sent us uh, coordinates of the small vessels. Uh, the Elaminein crew is said to have had contact with the control station from where they messaged the pilot of this vessel, but the transmission was suddenly lost and the pilot failed to arrive at the HQ. You should proceed with great caution. Sure thing, as usual. Right, where's my ship? Okay, find small vessel. Hmm. 
Is this the small vessel that I am supposed to find? In the orbit, okay. Ouch! There's a hail going on. Hmm. Right, quite unfortunately, I need to get some oxygen in my body. I'm gonna be hiding over in here, but unfortunately, I don't have any oxygen. It is really loud that hail, isn't it? Right, fill all? No. Hmm. Where can I find some oxygen? I think I headed to the fridge. Uh, that's what everybody. This is where everybody puts their oxygen, don't they? In the fridge? Right, and then we should just take my small vehicle. That is this one. Whoa, the gravity. Gravity, okay. And now let's get going. Let's go into space and let's see what that... What is all about the small vehicle going up there in a weird position. I have some bullets. We can reload. I have some rockets. We can reload. I also have a sensor that I can detect stuff. Find small vessel in the orbit. I think there's going to be plenty of small vessels. And let's hope this is not going to be the damaged small vehicle that I brought with me. Okay. Oop. Yeah, sure. Oxygen might be useful. Right. Um, destroyed small vessel. Is it? No idea. Hmm. Find small vessel. That's a freighter. That's a hidden station. That's a distillery. I'm not seeing any vessel. Shipyard. Does he really want me to go over there? But it's all gone. I took it. Right, okay, let's get going. Let's... That's my marker. Hmm, no idea if that one is actually the one that I am supposed to go to, but I will go to, and then we shall see. See you soon. Oh shit, it said something about energy signatures detected. Active signatures. Reduce speed. I don't know what do they mean. At least we found the vessel. Did we? Uh, we found the reason why the signal was lost all of a sudden. You mean the <laughs> vessel that I have back on the surface of the planet? Right. Okay. Orbital minefield. We might need to find the control station and deactivate the mines first. Right. So I am supposed to investigate it. Good. Meaning I have to board that control station. I think. Maybe. No idea. Let's see. Okay, all investigated. Yes, gravity generator. Yes, there is a generator. There is no entrance. Oh, there is the entrance. Good. Ooh. Ooh. This is new. Ah. Ooh, okay, control panel and there is a switch of some sort at least. What I saw, and those alien blocks, of course, have to give radiation everywhere. Okay, but from this location, I'm not being affected by that radiation. But there's something over there. Ooh! Is that teleporter? That's cool. Okay. This is the spot where I'm not being radiated. Oh, yeah, great. Okay, format C. And TC, CC, CC, Station Minefield Control Hub. Beep, 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 beep. Push the console, punch the console. Overrides code accepted. Oh, great. Please make your choice. Deactivate the minefield. Unexpected and recurred. 
they want to send an editor information to the service crew? No, of course not. There's an open application running. Message 239. Close anyway. Uh, show message. Eliminate exploration crew. Second commander. This is a warning to the pilot approaching the station. Hold your distance. Pick up uh, this mission and relay to Polaris HQ. Eliminate is heading for this planet, but it's not under our control. To anyone who is reading this code, Omega destroyed the whole ship. Oh, cool. We picked up something which killed the entire crew and has taken control of the ship. We managed to survive long enough to find this station and send the recorded warning, but no doubt we are already dead. Do not search for survivals. I repeat, destroy the ship and this station as well as the strongest weapon. Uh, uh, as well as with with the strongest weapon you have. I'm sorry, Chief. Somebody was uh, absolutely right from the beginning. We might have reviewed re uh, reviewed the dark times. May the galaxy forgive us. Okay, that was poor scream. Deactivate the console. Deactivate. Thank you. Commander, a teleporter connection just came online in the center of the room. So I am supposed to leave my ship over here and then use the teleporter? Ah, go to the teleporter. Didn't the message just say we should blast this place into pieces? We have no other choice but to use it, right? Okay, let's get going. Let's see where that will... Ooh, do I really want to go there? I don't think so. Quite unfortunately, it's going to be a base instead of CV, I think. Because that is the relict ship, as far as I remember. Yes, that is. Oh yeah, a short-range teleport. Consult your map to see if our vessel is within the short-range travel distance. Bringing our vessel over here will allow for a mobile base in the event of unexpected circus circumstances. There is oxygen in here, so that makes me very, very happy. Um, find a way inside. So I could bring a vessel in here, but what for? It doesn't even have a clone device. And I can always restart right next to the security doors locked. Right. Mm, okay, cool. So at least we are in here somewhere. Um, as for the oxygen, I don't have to worry about. Uh, as for the food, I do have to worry about. But maybe... Uh, my lovely friends, called Nightmares. Uh, help. Oh, look at that. that. Oh, be quiet out there. Help. That is something. Big sign, help. Help, help. Yeah, sure. Why not? I'm gonna help you. At least uh, I'll try. Right, unfortunately, as I said, there is oxygen. I have no idea if we'll find any any additional things, but security override, emergency channel, emergency protocol is initiated. Security doors locked warning, internal security activated. This is the Captain Zaldane of the mining ship Ilmarien. Yeah, I buttered that, I know it. This will be the last message we waited for help out the, for help, but it never came and now it's too late. Leave while you still can. Do not open security doors. If you are saying it's like my, my son, I'm saying to him, do not put it in your mouth. And apparently he doesn't understand do not. And then he catches put it in your mouth. For example, we were on a stroll and he picked up a rock and I told him do not put it in your mouth and what did he did yeah you've guessed it he put it in his mouth open says me okay uh, open says me Ooh, fancy okay we are done thank you bye bye good night of course not uh, it's not gonna be that easy what's over here was probably nothing right Okay, okay. Let's do Okay, let's do that. Open says me. Sure, why not? 
I'm not sure there's anyone alive, or at least no one we want to meet. Okay, so we'll go inside. Uh... Nah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's just do this. Fortunately, I can escape from the nightmares uh, by using the jetpack. But as for the turrets and other type of jazz, it is not that certain. Right, at least I can see them. Uh, what do we have over here? Some sort of a marking. We shouldn't be here. Okay, screw it. Let's find II access point and reveal whatever happened. Right, there's of course radiation. Il Manarei Pilotin Board, Polaris Mining Company. A note to all crew members. Due to the difficulties we face with the climate and the oxygen control systems, I advise all crew members to watch out for the deactivated ventilators and damaged devices and the report and the report them to Chief Engineer St. John in case you feel sick or report the medical mm, crew ASAP captain. Right. <sighs> yeah, let's heal. This is gonna be so much fun, I know it. There's the third one. I saw him. Come here, you piece of crap. How come he was able to shoot me while I couldn't? No idea. But that will change. Right, as for the knife as well, I do not see any one of those. But let's use this opportunity and call in my lovely, lovely scout. Because with it, I am able to assess, assess if there are any other turrets and any other nightmares that will be able to do a harm to me. Okay, so we are facing only one turret somewhere over in Good. And now we can loot those guys, at least for something to see if they can... Oh crap! Oh! Oh! Holy shit, I have like 20 bullets? Now, oh, boy, this is bad. How come you end up with 5 bullets? How are you... What drive room doors locked? How the hell are you supposed to win this fight if you don't have any bullets whatsoever? Okay, I get it that, you know, weight system and other stuff is problematic, but come on, hello. Oh shit. Hmm. 20, 20 bullets, I won't be able to do much. Okay. Okay, close those doors please, for me. Trauma kit, I need trauma kit. Uh, fever attack, alien parasite. I don't have anything like that to heal myself. Fever? Okay, my food is going down. My health is going down. All my vitals are going down. I am too hot.
There's a the alien over there. Oh, I'm starving. And I will be dead. Soon. There's the warp drive. There was a warp drive. But at least I was able to kill those nightmares. Wow! Now that was something different. I even wasn't able to detect what's wrong with me. Because all those, 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 those things... I've never experienced those. Right. Fortunately, we are quite close to the ship. I should put on the... I should put on the... What do you call it? Helmet? And then I will be able to go back and get my stuff back. This ship looks absolutely awesome and fantastic, if you ask me. If I would be able to get my hands on it, that would be perfect. But with all that radiation, radiated alien blocks, I don't think it's such a good idea to uh, continue going with it. But hey-ho, what can you do? I guess not much. Right, guys, so I think we're going to be... That's going to be it for today's episode. This is going to be the first episode of the few um, of me going in that part of a galaxy okay in the ship uh but yeah i think we're gonna slowly wrap up this episode and also i have a big question for you guys to ask because with alpha 12 i was playing i was playing project eden scenario so and i know that there is project eden scenario uh, prepared for alpha 12 as well and my question to all of you is do you want me to oh do you want me to play that scenario or maybe reforged galaxy mod scenario it's not it's not scenario it's more like mod uh, but what do you think what do you think what we should do after f finishing this mission because you know salvage mission in the hard environment and co uh, cpus and uh, volume well it's not exactly a fun thing to do I do enjoy the the hardness, the fact that uh, you know I have to struggle for my life, um, but yeah, please let me know in the comment section down below how we should continue with the channel, what we should do, what we should do in the upcoming weeks and. Uh, yeah, I would appreciate if you could give me that answer. Somewhat with it, with an oh, within a few upcoming days, we'll still continue doing the mission, solo mission. But if you could give me information relatively soon that would be perfect right guys so that's gonna be it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did remember to leave a like comment for gameplay oops subscribe to the channel if you're new and you like what you see and i hope that we'll see each other in the next episode when we will continue raiding this station with shotgun bullets only and sniper rifles so till then take it easy have fun and happy gaming bye, -bye.